and Jorn show. That's Kitchen. I'm Jorn. Today we are trying every Trader, Trader Joe's, Joe's fresh, fresh pasta. pasta. Of which there are 16. 16, we believe. What did we say last time? If we're wrong, get on, you can even get on a plane and fight, fight, fight us. Meet me at the concert of sort of content. <laughs> <laughs> the corner of Sunset and Fun. So we collected all of the Trader Joe's fresh pastas. Fresh pastas are the ones that like have like a little bit of moisture in them. They're yeah. not the dry pastas. It's usually like, it's the raviolis. It's the, the stuff gnocchis. that comes in a refrigerator. Yes. And so we are preparing them obviously oh, on the God, stove. Oh God, I gotta get it out. Kristen's gotta check on oh, it. Sh We're cooking them in groups by shape and cook time so that we wouldn't have to sit here and like wait for 16 pots of water to boil in Yeah, a row. That, would, that would be a <laughs> mistake. We rate our foods on a scale of just okay, pretty good, really great, and if you absolutely suck, you're penalty box bad. bad. And you get hit with a spoon. Yeah, we bad, 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 bad. If you fly to California to fight us, you will be hit, with, will a be hit with a spoon. You will be hit with a spoon if you find us. Because who knows what the set invite is. Our choices will be a little bit of butter or a little bit of olive oil. Because some of these I think will be better with butter. And some I think will be better with olive oil. Oh, okay, that's so cool. So I just want you to have a maximum tasting experience. I want your tongue to be like a little happy. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I shouldn't have said it like that, but- Give me it. Shut up. I'm gonna pour myself a little bit of olio. A little bit of lolio. A little bit of lolio. Orsini mushroom and truffle ravioli. I'm gonna try with the olive oil first. Okay, I'm gonna try with the butter actually. Very good. I think that's mm. better with olive oil, actually. I <laughs> think you're right. Isn't that good? Much better with the olive oil. Wow. So there's truffle in this. and Very I, mushroomy. And I usually don't love truffle, but I actually think they did a good job of balancing out, especially because it is super mushroomy. It's definitely like a, an umami Dutch oven yeah. in your mouth. I would say <laughs> the porcini mushroom and truffle ravioli, really great. The organic caprese ravioli. So organic tomatoes with basil. In Tomato. The, sorry. <laughs> Organic tomatoes, oops. Organic <laughs> tomatoes with basil and okay. in a three cheese blend. Hmm. I'm gonna try another bite because that was confusing. It's basil, right? So you taste a lot like pesto. I don't really taste tomato too much. I mostly just taste like basil and cheese. It's here's the thing. I think putting acid in a filled pasta is very frequently a mistake. I think that the outside is for the acid. I think the inside is for the fats, the salts, the umamis. I mean, you don't even taste the tomato in this. No. It's just I, kind of overpowered by the cheese. And it, I don't even want to. Like, it's there and I'm like, what are, what are you doing here? You don't pay rent here. Get yeah. out of there. I'm evicting you. The organic caprese ravioli. Just okay. The ricotta and lemon zest ravioli. Oh, fuck. Uh oh. What the? Oh my god, it tastes like a lemon bar in a piece of pasta with cheese. I truly. Okay, that is penalty box bad. What the f is your problem? <laughs> what happened to you? <laughs> Put it in the butter, it's delicious. I'm not trying it again. You don't have to. Okay, you're telling them. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not telling you. <laughs> do you forget we're making videos sometimes? Some, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> who are you talking to? Why are we here? <laughs> okay, Jen thinks it's penalty box bad. Kristen thinks it's pretty good. We're now wearing the cheese tortellini. You yeah. know. Listen, are. if you have a child under the age of five, you know what cheese tortellini is. Listen, call me a terrible too, because I liked it. I mean, it's cheese tortellini, it's very basic. Fine. Yeah, that's just okay. We are gonna cook some more pastas, but you guys are, as far as you're concerned, it's gonna be instantaneous. Yeah, it's gonna be like going under anesthesia. It's yeah, gonna, you're like, gonna wake you're up. You're gonna count back from one, two, three, and we're gonna have new pastas. Chicken, so. chicken, and cheese ravioli. Mm. I really hated the texture of the chicken. If you're gonna eat meat, make it count. It should taste good. It yeah. should be delicious. You should be like, mm, 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 mm. Like I didn't find it gross, so I don't think it's penalty box bad. I think it's just okay. Okay, okay so this oh, is boy. the vegan spinach and cashew ravioli, which somehow we didn't eat with our vegan foods. Yeah. That might be new. Let's give it a little olive oil bath. How is it? It's a little odd. What? It's kind of weird. I love it. <laughs> Oh, okay. I don't dislike it. I think I actually really think that I love it. The cashew, you can taste it. Like you can taste the nuttiness, which is good. It was kind of sweet, which I didn't love. Maybe that's why I loved it so much. Yeah, it's not bad. I think it's just like a little bit too sweet for my taste. It has some apple juice in it. That's that's probably what we're tasting. There is like a sort of citrusy sweetness to it. It's a spinach it. cashew filling. It's I it. If you love it, then I want to defer to Kristen. Let's say it's really great. I think it's really great. Okay. The vegan spinach and cashew ravioli. Really great. I hope vegan people actually like this too. Yeah, good. vegan people. What's, do you like this? What's up? Do you eat this? Is it? Do you think it's good too? I just, I was expecting nothing and I got everything. <laughs> Butternut squash ravioli. Another sweet pasta. I feel like I'm eating a pasta cookie. I really, like dessert pasta. Yeah, I don't like it. Really? I don't know. 
Oh, I thought this one was bad. <laughs> it's really good. It's not as good as the vegan pasta. The no. vegan pasta, I, I. So I, then this might just be pretty good. This is pretty good. Pretty good. The Brussels sprouts and uncured bacon ravioli. Oh, I hope it gets cured soon. The Brussels sprouts are not like super well blended. It's a lot. Like it's, it, uh, it's a little salty. I actually know. I was gonna ask if you thought it was salty because I thought it was salty without adding extra salt. I wish I hadn't added extra salt. <laughs> the Brussels sprouts it's and really uncured salty. bacon ravioli. It's really salty. I think it's just, just okay. okay. The next we're trying is the spinach tortellini. Chinese. Oh, look at this little hat. Ooh, it's, real. Real. it's fine. <laughs> I think the spinach tortellini is a, is is amongst the weaker entries. So. Okay, well this is just okay. Cacio e pepe this ravioli. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this isn't good, I'm gonna cry. That's delicious. Mm. It's so good. Mm. It's so good. I'm very relieved that this is good. Cacio e pepe is such a good pasta. It is, and it would, it would just be disappointing if to have a bad one. Very spicy, very It's cheesy, flavorful. it's peppery. The cacio e pepe is really great. really great. I'm glad it was good. It was good, like a nice little pick me up for yeah, us. Yeah, a little pep, 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 pep. Yeah. Little pep, 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 pep. Lobster ravioli, lady, it's time. Yeah. Jen does not want to try the lobster ravioli. I like lobster. I don't really think I'd love it in this context, and I got a whiff of it when it was cooking, and it kind of did something to me. I'm gonna go for it. I'm just gonna have a little bit. Yeah, I'm also just gonna have a little bit. Better than I thought it was gonna be, but still not very good. There's something about like fish pasta that I'm just like, mm. <laughs> my fish needed to be saying goodbye to its mother this morning. <laughs> this is bad. This is penalty box bad. Four cheese ravioli. Four cheese ravioli. I was looking at look The cheeses at are cotta. Hard grating, mozzarella and provolone cheeses. Hard grating? I think that, I don't know what that means. It's just cheesy pasta. It's, not, it's like just okay. There's nothing like special about yeah, it. It's but not gonna it's, win a Nobel Prize. Yeah, it's it's serving its purpose. It's possible that we're tired of pasta, and so we're just like, you know what? Life is unending pasta. We will never be free from this prison of pasta. Well, we will be if we keep going. The gluten-free cheese ravioli. Oh my god, the next one's gluten. So this pasta dough is made out of rice, cauliflower, and corn. I'm sure it is. And you can tell because it is, it is, very, is very much falling apart. It is, okay, I'll see it, whatever. <laughs> it like the pasta is a little bit grainy. And it dissolves pretty quickly. So texture-wise, it's a little weird. I think this gluten-free cheese ravioli is just okay. That's generous. Okay, yeah, I think it's penalty. I think it's bad. bad. <laughs> As we say in every video where we talk about foods like this, people who have to eat gluten free and people who are eating vegan deserve tasty food. The next one we're trying is the roasted cauliflower and cheese ravi. Cauliflower and pasta. Oh god, this better be f***ing good. You better be f***ing good. I'm actually pretty good. <laughs> I'm pretty good. That was being dramatic. The roasted That's cauliflower and cheese ravioli, really great. That's gluten free egg fettuccine pasta. Okay. So I'm put okay. it in butter. Okay. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. That was. Weird. It made me feel sad. I actually thought for gluten free pasta, it's pretty good. Okay. This is pretty good. But if you, Jen didn't like it. I so. didn't like it. So if you are me, you don't like it. I normally would let Jen go on this. I would let just overrule it, but like, I want gluten free people to know that actually I found it pretty good. Let's move on to the next pasta. Yeah. This is the goat cheese and sun dried tomato. You do taste the tomato. Mmm. Mm. Very tart. Okay, I changed my mind about no acids on infilled pastas. This one is good. You get the tomato, the goat cheese is very sharp. We like a pasta at the end of this video. It means it was really outstanding. The goat cheese and sun dried tomato ravioli. Delicious. Really great. Delicious. Excellent work, my babe. Arugula and Parmigiano Reggiano ravioli. Okay. I'll take a nap after this. Okay. I go, yeah. <laughs> It kind of tastes burned to you. It's got like a weird flavor. I don't like it. We didn't burn it, but it has this like really weird kind of like sourness to it, which might be the arugula. The arugula is very, very powerful. Very and I think it's like kind of just a weird choice. I think this is just okay. I think it's a little bit weird if I'm honest. Wow, we did it. We did it. Oh my gosh. Honestly, like, what I would say is that like eating 16 pastas. I do not recommend. We don't recommend it. That's probably much bad. Being Kristen and Jen and being super cute, really great. Love the cacio e pepe, love the vegan. Love this bad boy. Honestly, and I love us. Anyway, we it's love you so much. Anyway, yeah. yeah. Oh my God, I need to Thanks for, yeah, we have to nap. This is, what do you want us to try next? No more pastas, okay? I want to be awake. <laughs> Bye. Bye.